Hey you guys, it's Emily and today I am doing another 24-hour readathon. So this is actually my third 24-hour readathon and I'm super excited to dive into this one because once again I will be attempting to read an entire series under 24 hours. So this time around I made you guys vote on Twitter and you guys chose The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. So I've been wanting to read this series for a while now and when I asked you guys if you wanted me to read that one, you all chose this. So I'm very excited to finally read it. I got the new box set so very excited about that. So The Darkest Minds is a trilogy but they are um, a bunch of like extra content I guess. They have like a short story collection and I also think it has a new book that came out in 2018 like this summer. It's called The Darkest Legacy however it's not following the same main character. However we will be focusing on the first three books in the series. So that includes The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, and In the Afterlight. So we will be focusing on those three books this time around. However, if I have time, I will also try to read Through the Dark, which like I said, is the short story collection. So it's currently 8 p.m. and the 24 hour readathon starts at midnight. I'm doing this with my friends from work, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned it. I just wanted to film this little intro before I, you know, get rid of all my makeup and get ready for bed and just reading. Hi, I'm whispering because it's really late. It's almost midnight. It's actually 11.52 and I'm about to start reading The Darkest Minds, the first book in The Darkest Minds trilogy. Oh my god, I slept a little bit, which is why I look really trashy right now. I apologize, but I took a nap and I considered like not getting up and just like continuing sleeping and just like getting up earlier tomorrow morning so I can start reading but I'm doing this I am totally reading at midnight we are doing this I decided that I'm doing this so I will stick to it Ugh, this happens to me every time that I take a nap before these 24-hour readathons I'm always like do I really do this do do I am I regretting my choice now and the answer is always yes but <laughs> it's worth it I'm just very excited but right now I am trying to like pull myself together before the readathon starts. I still have a little bit of time and then we'll start reading. <laughs> Hey guys, I made it to page 252 of The Darkest Minds and it's now 4 or 2 in the morning. I'm not reading as fast as I thought I would. Like, I was pretty sure I would actually be done with this book by now, but it's taking me a lot longer than I had anticipated. But it's fine. But right now, I am kind of tired. Um, I'll be honest, like, I can barely keep my eyes open. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go ahead and sleep for a little while just so that I can get some energy and like continue reading tomorrow, well today I guess. Um, as for the book itself, I'm really enjoying it so far. I really love the gang. So we have like Ruby, Liam, Zoo, and Chubbs so, and I love them all. They're all, they have a fun dynamic which I'm really appreciating and yeah so far I'm really liking the writing and the story and cannot wait to see where this goes. I'm about halfway through, a little bit more actually. So hopefully I'll be able to finish this like tomorrow, well, this morning, um, before I have to go to brunch with my friends. So we'll see about that. But right now I'm just going to go to bed and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey you guys, it is 7am right now. Well, actually it's 7.09 and I just woke up and I'm feeling much better. I still feel extra tired as you can tell by the state of my face but I don't feel as dizzy and like sick as I did earlier on tonight so right now I'm going to continue reading The Darkest Minds. I'm hoping to finish just before I have to leave for brunch in like two hours but I'll be honest I don't think that's going to be like doable. Um, we'll hope but I brought myself a little snack because I was super hungry so I'm going to eat a little bit while um, reading my book so I felt a little bit dead so I decided to add in like those eye patches underneath my eyes haven't done them in like forever but I feel like it's gonna help me wake up a little bit it feels like cold on my face so that's great uh, by the way those are from black um, B-L-A-Q and I got them in my fat fit fun and really liking this it's so refreshing in the morning by the way it's about 8 20 a.m. 
and I am currently on page 310 of The Darkest Minds and I'm really loving this you guys. I'm so disappointed that I didn't read this earlier on because I'm really loving this and I know it used to be like a very popular series and I don't know why yet I never read this to be honest but I just remembered that there's a movie that came out um, about this book like I think it came out this summer. Um, if I have time today, which I highly doubt that I will, but if I have time, I'll try to watch the movie as well. Um, if not, I'll try to watch it this week uh, just because, you know, I want to see how they adapted this to screen. But yeah, right now I'm getting ready to go to brunch um, with my friends who I'm actually doing the readathon with. So I think I have to meet them at 9.30, so I should be leaving in around like an hour. I have about 150 pages, more than that actually, like 170 I'd say pages um, left to read before I'm done with this so I don't think I'll be able to finish this before brunch but I'm hoping I'm able to make a bit of progress with this so right now I'm gonna get back to reading okay so it's now 9 10 and I am on my way to brunch I need to go pick up my mom's car first but then we'll be eating some yummy lunch well brunch <laughs> and I'm so hungry so I'm very excited and it's such a beautiful day I mean I got my sunglasses out it's a bit cold but it's good hey you guys so I'm home from brunch it's now 11 30 but um yeah I just came home from brunch it did me a lot of good because I was really starving but also I did not even finish the darkest minds yet I'm still on page 323 um and I really need to finish this so I can move on to the next book at this rate, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finish all three books in the series, especially considering the fact that I'm working three hours tonight. If I wasn't working tonight, I think I would be able to finish all three, but since I'm working, I don't know like how much reading I'm actually going to be able to get done. But we'll try our best. Uh, I have like 12 hours to finish all of this. Like, it's kind of crazy to me. And I'm realizing now that when I picked The Darkest Minds, well, when I made The Darkest Minds like an option for you guys to vote for, I did not really think about the fact that each of these books are about... 500 pages so yeah this is like probably not the best choice for 24 hour readathon but i'm sticking with it we're going to be attempting to read the entire trilogy but right now i just got some mail so it's time for a little unboxing i know it seems like i have a shopping problem and i probably do but i was out of a moisturizer and i decided to uh, order some stuff at sephora so i ordered a moisturizer and in my case it is the Clinique ID Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. So this is what it looks like. I've seen a lot of great reviews for this online and this one is the blue one. I don't know what it, I think it's one for pores. Hmm, it doesn't really say, but it's supposed to be like really moisturizing and help with like pores and stuff like that. So, uh, and uneven skin texture. So I thought that this would be great for me. And I've read a lot of great reviews online, so I just thought that I would try it out. So when I run out of my fresh moisturizer, I'll be trying this out. So I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm very curious to check this out. And I also wanted to try a little serum, but I didn't really know what to try because, I mean, I'm pretty new to this old serum thing. And, you know, I didn't want to spend like a ton of money on something that I wasn't 100% sure of. So I decided to try the Milk Makeup, uh, I think it's the Watermelon brightening serum i got the mini size because i just wanted to uh check it out i don't know if it's like focusing but yeah i just thought that i would try this out and uh, if i like it i can buy the bigger version and i've been wanting to like start doing more serums and stuff like that uh, apparently it's really great for your skin so i just thought that i would finally try it out but as i said i wasn't really sure what i wanted to start with i'm pretty new to this if you guys have a favorite serum let me know in the comments down below but yeah, I'll be testing out this Milk Makeup Watermelon Serum. So, this is my little Sephora haul. Now, let's get back to reading. Oh my god, you guys, I just finished reading The Darkest Minds and that ending, oh my god, I'm such a mess of emotions, like, it was so good, it, it was amazing, really loved it, I gave it a four and a half out of five stars, it's just, wow, I'm loving these characters, I love the world building, I love the writing, like, the 
like the last 100 pages were incredible like I feel like it was not too action-packed but also it was just enough to make sense and like propel the story forward I loved it so freaking much yes I am a bit of an emotional mess over like these last like 10 pages but we're fine we'll get to it um I loved it so much. Um, the reason why I'm not giving it like a full five stars is that I feel like it used some tropes that felt a little bit too obvious to me, but still it was amazing and I just, I really loved it. I am now going to dive into Never Fade, which I'm going to go pick up because I need to start reading it before I leave for work. So where is it? Oh, right here. So we'll now be starting Never Fade, which is the sequel. And this book is hella long as well. It's like 500 pages. Um, but hopefully I can read a good chunk of it before I have to leave for work. It's currently uh, 2.04 by the way. I forgot to update you guys on the time. But yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to finish like all three books. But I do think I'll be able to finish at least the first two and probably start the third one. So yeah, right now um, I'm going to read a little bit more of Never Fade. I think I'm going to go pick up a snack though because I feel a little bit hungry. And then I'll read Never Fade. And I have to leave for work at around 4.40. Um, well, 4.30, maybe 4.40 at the latest. Um, I'm working at 5, so I want to make sure that, you know, give myself some time to get there. But that gives me like a good two hours and a half to read and make quite a bit of progress with Never Fade. So let's jump right into it. <music> It's now 4 p.m. and I am currently on page 96 of Never Fade. Um, I'll be honest, I don't think I'll be able to finish um, the trilogy at this point. Like, I'd, I'll be happy with myself if I can finish a second book at this rate because I have to leave for work um, in like 30 minutes. So I'm going to try to just sneak in a little bit more reading before I have to leave. But I've been reading for like most of the afternoon and this is like taking me longer than I had anticipated. But so far, I am really enjoying Never Fade. It's very different from the first book. We are seeing a completely different side of the world that Alexandra Bracken has created and that's really interesting. Uh, we're introduced to a whole new set of characters so that's fun as well. I'm very excited to see where this goes. I feel like this is going to be very thrilling and just exciting. So hopefully I can finish a book tonight. As I said, I don't think I'll be able to finish the entire trilogy, so I don't think I'll be able to read In the Afterlight. I think the last book is called uh, tonight. I don't even know if I'll be able to like start it. But I'm hoping that I can at least finish Never Fade tonight. Um, so this readathon is not a complete fail. Right now, I'm just going to get a little bit more reading done. And then I downloaded the audiobook for Never Fade on my phone so that I can listen to probably like one chapter while I go to work. Hey, you guys. So it's now 827. And I'm currently on page 140 of Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken. And I was able to listen to like one chapter um, of the book uh, via audiobook. I'm really liking the audiobook, by the way really good choice. So like I said right now it's about 8 30 but tonight before I go to bed my goal is to finish reading Never Fade. Um, like I said I'm currently on page 140 which means that I read about a fifth of the book so far. A bit more than that. So I think I will have to like power through this. Right now I'm just gonna go take a shower, wash my hair, remove all of that makeup, get ready for bed, and then we'll be doing a reading session. Hi guys, so it is now the next day, which means that the 24 hour readathon is sadly now over. So last night I ended up getting to page 280 of Never Fade. So no, I did not finish Never Fade. I was planning on finishing the entire trilogy, but to be honest, it was kind of like a big like challenge to set for myself, considering the fact that I was a working, um, I did not get that much sleep, which means that I was extra tired throughout the entire day. And you know, also like, I feel like I went to brunch, which took away some reading time, even though I did enjoy brunch and I do not regret it. It's just that like, there's a bunch of different things that I did that took away from my reading time, I guess. So this is the end of this 24-hour readathon. Um, even last night, I went to bed at like 11 because I was so tired. Like, I couldn't even concentrate on the words that I was reading anymore. So I was just like, you know what? Let's move on. So this readathon was kind of a fail. You know what? It's fine. I mean, it happens and like sometimes 
things don't go according to plan. So this is a great lesson for me. But uh, I just wanted to wrap things up very quickly, talk about uh, what I've read and the amount of pages and everything. So first I read The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. This is the first book in the series and this book is 488 pages and I gave it a four and a half out of five stars. The second book that I read and did not complete is Never Fade, also by Alexander Bracken. This is the second book in the series and I read 280 pages of this. So this means that during this 24 hour readathon I read a grand total of 700 and 68 pages which isn't my best but you know what I'm fine with it but before I sign off this vlog I wanted to do a little giveaway so if you made it here that means that you can enter this giveaway for this readathon I bought the boxes for the darkest minds as you guys know and I got these gorgeous editions and I really like them I think they're really pretty but here's the thing I already owned a copy of the darkest minds this copy right here and I got this this summer because I wanted to read it and when I went uh, to buy the other two books because I already owned the first one so I was like I'm just gonna buy the other two books I couldn't find these editions anywhere like most of them for Never Fade and In the Afterlight were sold out online probably because they're out of print or something like that they are uh, available like in hardcover I think but in paperback it's only like the new box set editions that you can buy now and I'm picky and I like my editions to match so I got the box set but that means that I have an extra copy of The Darkest Minds that I do not need and I just thought that to give back to you guys and um, you know I really enjoyed this series so I just thought that I would give away my copy so if you want to enter it's simple just leave a comment down below letting me know that you want to get the copy like leave a comment down below just mention that it's for the giveaway and make sure that you're subscribed and leave like a social media handle so it could be like Instagram, Twitter or something like that so that I can contact you if you win and why you are entered. So the giveaway will end a week after I upload this. I don't know when exactly I'm going to be uploading this but I'll leave the date like the exact date on the screen right here and in the description box so that you guys are aware. I will also leave like all of the rules for the giveaway in the description box so if you guys want to make sure that you do everything um, to be entered just read the description box but yeah I will be giving away this copy so hopefully you guys will enjoy it I know a lot of people have already read this and some people probably already own it but if like me you haven't read it or if you've read it and don't own a copy or you just want this copy to add to your collection here's your chance so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to give this a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I guess that's it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye